Yashua, all praises and glory goes to Yahweh. Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai. Ba'ashem, Rakat, Radash. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone and salutations unto the Lekman that's eating the sheep. Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai. The sincerity and the truth with this beautiful, great gospel. And um, we got a little lesson set up, beloved. What's that image we're looking at? <laughs> Uh, it says, thank you. And they got four Israelite men. And it says, thank you, Israelite man. Yeah, and um, some women talking about thank you, Israelite man. Honestly, women, we do not want your thanks. Um, we don't want none of that American sympathy bullshit, that fake love, right? Con. We um, The only thing the Lord, just like the Lord wants our fear, we're looking for your fear. That's right. We're looking for your fear. Con. So, um, the Lord wants us to be in submission to him. We're looking for you to be in submission to us. That's right. Yeah, fuck your thank yous. You thinking multiple men? A lot of you women, you 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 some Israelite hoes, prostitutes, um, groupies. All you do is jump from different nigga to different nigga to listen. To. You don't listen to every nigga. Con. Yeah. You don't listen. You don't know what nigga. Oh, oh my god! What nigga should I? What that Israelite man start listening to today? I love the Israelites. Mm -hmm. I love them. You don't turn into an Israelite hoe. Yeah, because you ain't seeking the truth. You, you're looking for a nigga to put a rod in you. That's what you're looking for a lot of you women. That's right. That rod of correction. Yeah, and the brother says something very, very uh, spiritual and something that I elder apostle. Uh, Gabar always say too, man, it's better off to have your wife fear you than love you. Because if she love you, she going to do whatever she wants. She ain't going to have no fear of you. But if she fear you, she's going to think about before she do something to cross you, man. So that's very <coughs> powerful, man. So I Hey, most of these men... um. Their women loved them at one time. Most of these men who are divorced, their women loved them at one time. But what happened? She stopped fearing that nigga. She started fearing another nigga down the street. She started fearing it. She said, hey, yeah, I don't, why, why do I need to fear you? When I, all I got to do is call the police and they'll put your ass in jail. That's right. That's right. And you you, uh, you men forgot this, man. And furthermore, Babylon has, has taken this out of your mind, man. This is uh, 1 Corinthians 11, verses 8 to 9. For the man is not of the woman. But the woman of the man. Neither was the man created for the woman, but the woman for the man. But here was the main thing the women say, um, you 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 came from me. I birthed you, I brought you into this world. Mm-hmm. That's right. And and, and and that's what they say to you, man, because you, they, these women are on a pedestal, man. Okay. Uh -huh. Let me read that one more time for you, retards, man. First Corinthians <laughs> eleven, verses eight to nine again. For the man is not of the woman, but the woman of the man. Yeah, because Adam was, it was Adam who created first. Uh-huh. Yeah. And then the Lord said, a man should not dwell alone. He should be, not be by himself. So what man said, uh, the Lord said, uh, let me make him a what? A helpmate. A helpmate. You women are here to be an assistant. That's like right. an assistant coach. That's right? That's right. You're, you're here to um, guide the house, right? Raise the children, right? Mm -hmm. Not be a fucking boss at a job. Oh, she's the CEO of this company. She's a cop. She's a firefighter. That's right. And we're going to pull that out too. But before I do, let me uh, finish this off one more time. Uh, verse 9. Neither was the man created for the woman, but the woman for the man. Your woman is made for you for, for a, a, a pillar of rest. For a, a, Like the brother said, in the sense that, and when the brother was saying it, I was pulling up the definition on the etymology online for woman. Adult yeah. female, human. Okay. And I'm just going to go straight to the point. And you can look this up yourself on Etymology Online. The main point, women, female servant. Yes, you heard me. Female servant. Okay? She is a servant to the man. Okay? the Lord, Like, like he said, the Lord made the woman to help us, to be our rest. And we're going to get that scripture too. But the brother made another point for what you're supposed to be doing. Titus chapter 2, uh, starting off at verse 3. The aged woman likewise... That she be in behavior, not being out here being a damn bitch, running your damn mouth all on the man's face, acting like he can beat him on the challenge of man. And then when that nigga knock you upside your damn head, you want to scream, help, help. Somebody call the police. But yet, you help. Was, yeah, exactly. But yet you was uh, triggering that man to do that to you, man. Why you hear me? Why you hear me? Why you hear me? Mm-hmm. Because you was talking crazy, lady. Yeah, acting, you, acting crazy, doing crazy, all types of demons on you, man. You, you, you stepped out of your fucking body. You right. stepped out of your body. That's why I, I clothesline your ass. That's why I spin kicked your ass. That's right. That's why I gave you some of that sweet chin fucking music. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> and when you <laughs> when you get hit in your chin, about fifteen demons pop out of your ass like boosh. Yeah, you hit me. <laughs> you with your ass back to reality then. What the fuck is what's, what's going on? What happened? And me, you know us. I, I used the Bible. It was the Lord that hit you. Yeah, man, the Lord <laughs> I can get the verse right now. The Lord hurt. Hey, the Lord smack the shit out of your ass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm in court using Bible verses to defend myself. Yeah, the Lord hit her. Okay. Yo, I don't yeah. The Lord said he hurt. <laughs> Yeah, but this is uh, Titus two verse three again. The age woman likewise that they that they be in behavior as become. Well, look at these age women, man, right now, bro. The age woman is acting like a, a school child, right? She's dressed as a school child. She operates as a school child. She thinks she's dancing. She's she's in a kitty mode, right? You got these households where the mothers, the the, the mothers. The children are taking care of the mother's responsibility, right? Yep. The mother doesn't have three, four kids. Here's the fucking middle child taking care of all the other kids. We call her Big Mama in the crib. Oh, she's your fucking sister, man. Well, doing everything that your fucking mother's supposed to be doing. Calm, but see, uh, the thing about that is, though, Big Mama's ass was wicked, too. But at least Big Mama stayed her ass in the house, cooked and cleaned, and made sure everything was taken care of, even though she was No, so like, you talking about OG Big Mama. Yeah, I'm talking oh, about yeah, these so new like age OG women Big that Mama, you got yeah. the little kids raising uh, the whole family. Yeah. yeah, old school big mom was on point. Yeah, Go ahead, Con. beloved. Old school mom was on point. Con. Uh, the Titus two, Titus two, chapter three. The age woman likewise that they be in behavior as become of holiness, not false accusers, which we see today. A lot of niggas getting killed over women, not giving too much wine. That many out. Ah, so lucky. I gotta intervene. So there's a park by my house, right? Con. Um, liquor store open up at what seven o'clock? By seven thirty, you got about four old ass bitches. Some young dumb niggas, they done put a fucking pulled out chairs, lawn chairs in mm. front of the park, man. Got music playing and got open liquor. I'm like, man, that's why I cussed the police out of folk a month back. I said, hey, motherfucker, you pulling me over, nigga. Look over here. Look over here. Open drug sale. Open alcohol. Nigga, litter, man. You fucking pulling me over for a fucking tail light man. I said, man, fuck you, man. And and the cop felt so stupid, man. <laughs> hey, uh, hey, sir, all right, calm down, man. We're out of here, man. They felt so stupid they had to leave. It's like you ain't gonna arrest the real problem in the neighborhood, but you wanna bother a nigga because a fucking light went out on my back of my car, man. Mm -hmm. You could just pull to the pull pull to, uh, to the side and say, "Hey, your lights out," and just kept on rolling. But I, it was the issue about the open alcohol, the drug dealing, the fucking dope all over the neighborhood, man. The, um, the indecency, man. It, it, it's out of order. This, this scene looked like a scene from The Wire times ten. Con, but you, you all, you, they, they want Jake to destroy themselves too. You know they, 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 they love it. They love. Yeah, they doing their part. You know they doing oh, their part. Oh, I seen the police give a nigga a square the other day. I said, oh hell no, nah, this is some bullshit. Well, they man, they pulled over. They gave a motherfucker a straight square, man. I said, oh hell no, nah, this the hood for real. Uh huh. It says uh, teachers of good things that they may teach the young women to be sober, to love their husbands, to love their children. What do they do right now? I go ahead and break that down. What are they teaching them right now? I hey, hey, go get a man who got money. Do whatever you got to do. Matter of fact, go get pregnant by five different men, and you got multiple money coming in. Yeah. Go to do you, girl. What you worried about? Man, yeah, fuck these niggas. Strong Think about yourself, girl. Independence. Ride that cock carousel until you 40. Oh, yeah. Yeah. When when nobody wants no more. Look at me. I ain't had a date in 30 years. <laughs> yeah, that bitch only, what, 35. Don't nobody want her. She's 40. Don't look good to the mother, but don't nobody want her. And see, that's crazy, too, man, because I just came across... A 40-year-old woman. And see, the mindset that, you know, a lot of the men that's doing this work, man, we got we got these broads coming to us, really, man, you know, coming to us, man. And when you talk to these broads, man, look, the, to make a long story short, this broad, 40 years old, about to be 41, actually, and uh, two failed marriages. And I said, once, once I heard that, I said, yeah. <laughs> It's a wrap. I said, and then... The, You're the way, a failure. Yeah, the way she was talking and everything else, I, I see the reason why she had two failed marriages. She's a man. She's a fucking man. Yeah, and don't let that job get in the way, you know, because that job them boosts them up in society. Mm -hmm. The Lord done made a nigga, um, what it says, a woman shall come past the man, if you get that for us, beloved. Kind. Uh, it's Jeremiah, is that 4 and 22? Yes, sir. Second. Yeah, because at one time, you, you had the man, he was providing for the household, right? It was order. The order was the man to feed the house, to guide the house, to lead the family, and the woman the woman to take care of the inside the household, right? Come but the Lord flipped it because the Lord didn't want this. Don't forget, America was not set up to be a prosperous place. 
This is a fucking punishment we're going through, baby. You're serving a sentence. God. That's why it's only going to get fucking worse, man. You're going to lose family. You're going to lose lives, right? You're going to lose everything in this place, man. The end game of America, we're going to lose every fucking thing in this place. We're not even going to get to leave here with our bodies, man. That's our right. bodies don't get changed before we we get on them, them chariots, man. Mm -hmm. So fuck this place, man. That's right. This is uh, Jeremiah 31, verse 22. How long will thou go about Oh, thou backsliding daughter. And that's the whole nation, man, because the whole nation is going backwards, man. You know, mm -hmm. you got all these sent. And look, man, let me say this real quick, man. If, if if Jake, man, really, you know, stood firm and wouldn't partake in this BS with these women, man, these women would really have to just, just go with these heathens or submit, man. Uh, for Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah have created a new thing in the earth. A woman shall compass a man, part of our punishment. Okay. You took it out my brain, brother. Go ahead, beloved. Because it's the same thing. The Lord is showing us how he felt on how we treated him through our mm -hmm. women, man. So this is mm -hmm. part of our The Lord said he's a jealous guy. And it's, it's yeah, a lot of you men, you jealous to a woman make more money than you get. Uh -huh. You got to go to her, man. Baby, baby, I need to pay my phone bill this month, baby. Baby, and you hate it. You hate it. You despise it. She got to pay the rent. Man, you got to use her card to pay, put gas in the car. You got to go to your fucking woman for the one of all things. And I, and I dare, just saw. I dare you to tell that hoe she can't go out on Friday and Saturday night. And yo, you got to leave on Friday. You might have to leave that Friday night or Saturday night. You can't come back. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because you men don't have no power in this society. But if you choose your hour, right? You choose. It says, um, we're not worried about the cares of this world. Fuck this bitch. <laughs> Yeah. And if you want to use the kids as a weapon against me, fuck them kids too. That's right. Yeah, hey, I'm not gonna fight against a woman, a child, and this fucking system. You know what I'm gonna do? We are gonna serve the Lord. Hey, we gonna serve you. How about you now? Stop. That's right. And we and then the, the brother made a smooth point because we shouldn't be fighting with these women, man. Because these women are the weaker vessels, man. The best thing for you to do, man, if a woman will argue with you, man, either just leave. If if you can, depending on the situation where you at. Or just shut the hell up, man. Don't even acknowledge it, man. That makes them, you know. Uh, uh, you, and furthermore, man, you shouldn't even put, you shouldn't even be dealing with a woman that's 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 that, that's not even stable, man. Man, Donald Trump, oh, grab the bitch by her pussy. <laughs> yeah, Donald Trump, her man. She start acting up. Just grab her by that burger, fellas. Because these women, they, the thing is, they want to be they they want your attention. So give her your fucking attention. And that's right. That's really why she tripping, man. A woman wants your attention, man. The attention, and the woman, we, man. They attention, man. Come on, and we in a society where, man, it's so much going on, right? You fucking at work. You got to deal with the kids. You got to deal with your own world. And really, these women are kind of famished with a man's a man's attention. And, and, and um, I'm not saying we're supposed to give a fuck. But uh, hey, because even the Bible says the devil will come in on that bitch and take over That's and sneak right. in on that bitch mind, man. That's right. Right? So, man, we understand the Lord's causing a division and a separation, man. The Lord said, suppose I come to bring um, peace on earth. Oh, uh, yeah, rather than vision. That's right. Matter of fact, can you, can you get that for me, beloved? Yeah, this is uh, St. Matthew's chapter 10. St. Matthew's chapter 10. Uh, verse thirty-four. Think not that I am come. Think not that I am come to send peace on earth. I come not to send peace, but a sword. For I am come to set a man at variance against his father, and the daughter against her mother, and the daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law, and a man's foe shall be there of his own household. Come on, man. A man's foe shall be there of her own household. Man, you come home, your wife against you, your child against you, right? Man, you done told her, uh, if you got money, you got a maid, start talking back. You tell the maid to clean up. Why don't you clean up? Hey, bitch, what the hell, man? Everything that's on you in your own shit. Because why? The Lord is not with you. Uh, and men, the Lord is not with you. The Lord is with the elect. Okay, the elect. We ain't got nothing to worry about. Even if we suffer, smile, because this thank you with a smile, man. Cheerful. Take the suffering tribulation. So what? Your woman acting up. So what's your woman Right? And she took the kids with her. Good riddance. Good riddance. That's right. Got the name of the Lord. Flashing out. All right. You got anything up? Yeah, you was, uh, you was bleeping out. No, it's a lot. saying, um, even if, the, if, the, if we have lost this world, it's a counted, counted, done. Right? Yeah, that's right. 
That's right. Yeah, back home. Wives, lives, um, jobs, wealth. And these things don't matter because the Lord got something greater for us in the kingdom of heaven, man. Shalom. Shalom.